this point. Amen. Just get a smile on your face. Amen. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. And we are just honored and glad to be here tonight. We praise God for uh, what he's done and thank God for the angel and, uh, and the person of Pastor, uh, Pastor Christopher Knowles. Amen. Uh, the pastor of the True Vine here Church. Let us praise God for him. Let's give him a hand praise. Our friend and our brother, we thank God for him extending us an invitation to come and to share with you on your 150th uh, church anniversary. Amen. God is great, isn't he? Amen. 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 And so I'm just excited, amen, about being here. Um, as the choir is making ready to come, amen, I want to uh, have those that we have our choir here, and I thank God for them uh, for being here with us. Those in the choir, in the audience rather, uh, from College Hill, would you please stand so that we may see you? And we truly thank God for you. Amen. Sister Curry, Sister Beatrice Curry, amen. Let me make that distinction. Amen. Stand up with you, please, Sister. Amen. 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 And my mother's here. Amen. Sister Mary Curry. Amen. Mother, raise your hand. Amen. Thank God that she came to see her baby. Amen. Amen. Okay, how old you get? Amen. I'm still her baby. Amen. Amen. And she don't take no stuff. Amen. About her baby. And so I thank God for you, amen, mother. Our usher board is here, our deacons. We have some deacons that are here. Uh, and we're just excited, amen, amen. Did you come expecting a blessing tonight? Amen, amen, amen. Don't sit there and look at us, amen. I need your amens, amen. Amen, pull your mask down a little bit, amen. You'll be at the game Friday night, amen. You ain't gonna have no mask on then. Amen, pull it down, amen. So you can say amen. All right, amen, amen, amen. And so we thank God. Deacon Frank, it's good to see you, sir. Amen. We thank God for you and all of you that's here. Amen. Receive the choir. They come with the amen. A, a, a hot number, amen. Thank God, amen. And y'all sing, amen, to your heart's desire that we will come back and give you what God has given us. Amen. Amen.
do it, why don't you go ahead and do it? That's what you said, that's what you said. Now let me see what you do. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you and praise the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing, to his courts with praise. Man, we give God praise. Amen. Come on, give this choir another hand praise. Amen. God, I minister to you, amen. Thanks for Stephen Johnson, amen. Brother Joel Johnson, amen. And little brother Curry, amen, on the drums. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We are thankful tonight, amen. We are glad to see each and every one of you. If you have your Bibles, won't you turn to the book of Psalms. Book of Psalms number 78, Psalm 78. I need the that needs the Lord tonight. Yeah, every hour, I need Oh, 
even right now, that you would have your way. Holy Spirit, move in a distraction now in the name of Jesus. Touch these cold hearts of ours, God, and, and, and allow us, Father God, to, to glean from the word. We need you right now. We pray, God, these blessings, God, as I decrease, you increase. God, and have your way. Speak for me and speak through me. And we ask this in the powerful and the perfect name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord, we say thank God, thank God. and we say amen. amen. There are eight verses, scriptures that I want to lift to you, and we won't be long because we know that you're not suffering for preaching here. Amen. amen. But 
we want to share with you what the Lord has given us. Amen, amen. Choir, we thank God for you and all of you that are here tonight. Amen. The word says, give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he has established, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Verse 8 says, and may not and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set its heart aright and whose spirit was not faithful to God. I want you to hear it in the Message Bible for just a second here. It says, listen, dear friends, uh, to God's truth. Bend your ears to what I tell you. I'm chewing on the morsel of a proverb. I'll let you in on the sweet old truth, stories we heard from our fathers, counsel we learned at our mother's knee. We're not keeping this to ourselves. We're passing it along to the next generation. God's fame and fortune, the marvelous things he has done. He planted a witness in Jacob, set his word firmly in Israel, then commanded our parents to teach it to their children. So the next generation would know and all the generations to come know the truth and tell the stories so their children can trust in God. Never forget the works of God, but keep his commands to the letter. Heaven forbid they should be like their parents, bullheaded and bad, a fickle and faithless bunch who never stayed true to God. For just a few moments, I want to talk from the subject, pass it on. Pass it on. You may be seated in the presence of God. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. There are a number, if you just look around and there are a number of corporations and institutions, firms that used to be vibrant. They used to be on the cutting edge. Yeah, yeah. They used to be all of that. They used to be the name that you would hear all the time. But because someone failed to pass on the right information, because they failed to pass on the ins and outs, now those institutions and corporations have gone upside down and many are no more. There have been trades and businesses that were once profitable and they created this enormous amount of wealth. But now that wealth has dwindled down because someone failed to pass along the necessary information to sustain them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our family history, a lot of us don't know who we are. We don't know where we've come from because somebody failed to pass along the genealogy of our history. Many of you that's here tonight, you could probably cook a little better had they passed down some of those family recipes. I'm one of them, amen, amen. If I could have gotten a couple more recipes, amen, I would be considered, amen, a fairly good cook. But because they failed to pass it on, amen, we're struggling in some areas. And church, we're just realistic and we, we tell the truth. Even our churches, amen, the dedication, amen, what we believe, who we believe, amen, is fading because we're failing to pass on, amen, the truth, amen, and teach our next generation the word of God. We have an obligation. We have a responsibility and many of us, amen, we're wrapped up in, amen, the work, amen, and we're failing to remember what God has mandated for us to do. 
And saints, I want us to understand that we, we've got to pass on and instill, amen, the word of God, amen, and what God has done in not only in this present generation, but we've got to put it in them so much that the next generation and the next generation to come will know who God is. Now, can I tell you that we're all sitting here tonight, amen, because, amen, they drug us to BTU. Anybody remember BTU and NBC? Amen. Sunday school, we didn't have a choice. Amen. You can stay out all night Saturday. Amen. You can stay out, amen, to the wee hours of the morning. But, amen, and when the sun rose, amen, on that Sunday morning, you were going to get up and you were going to church. Now, amen, we've given our children, amen, the, the luxury, amen, the latitude, amen, to, amen, to make a choice whether or not they want to come to church, whether or not they want to, amen, do this, but, amen, that, that when they go to school, they have no choice because we'll get them up early in the morning and we'll have them there. Yes, sir. We need to pass on, saints, the love of God. We need to pass on, amen, the works of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, his loving kindness, and how he has demonstrated to each and every one of us his tender mercies. A lot of us now, we become too busy. We become inundated in the things of this world. Amen. Our jobs have consumed us. Uh, consumed us. There are other interests, amen, that have consumed us. And can I tell you, amen, we have become now so, amen, inundated in a lot of other things, amen, that we have put, amen, God and the works of God, amen, as a second very priority. Amen. Can I tell you, saints, that God is a jealous God. Amen. He said, I will have no other gods before me. Amen. We put the jobs in front of church and God. Amen. We put other things and people in front of God. But we got to learn now, amen, that we've got to make God a priority and no longer a prerogative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this text, amen, we see, amen, that ASAP, amen, the prophet, amen, he, he, has, he has written, amen, a lesson for us, amen, that will help us even on this church anniversary. If we're to go any further, amen, that we've got to hear what this writer has said. And he wrote, amen, this song here, amen, to get our attention. And the first thing that he writes here in the first the verse here of, of Psalm number 78, he says, he cries out in this unique manner. He says, give ear, O my people. He said, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. This prophet here, amen, when he says the word here, he means, amen, he wants you to lean in intently. He says, here, I need you to hear what I have to say. There is a difference, amen, in listening and hearing, amen. We got a lot of folk, amen, husbands, amen, sometimes we listen, but we don't actually hear what, amen, is being said, amen. I'm guilty sometimes, amen, and wives, amen, I'm not going to let you off the hook tonight, amen. Sometimes you listen, but you don't often hear what the man has to say. The Bible says, Pastor, yes, sir. Yes, sir. he says, give ear to me. Uh -huh. Listen to me. He says, be obedient to my words. He says, I need to have your attention like that, amen, we command of our children. He says, stretch your ears to the words of my mouth. And he says, I need you to listen to something. He says, I will open my mouth in a parable and I will utter dark sayings of all which we have heard and we have known and our fathers have told us and, and so what he's saying here he's saying that I need you to hear me with your head and hear me with your heart I, I have something to say and he said amen in this, in this verse here he says the stories and the words that, that we have heard and that we've known and what he's saying here he says the things that we've already heard here he says I need you to remember them he says and I need you to keep on reviewing them in your mind now there's a certain thing amen we'll do we'll hear something one time amen and if we don't rehearse it if we don't amen set a reminder amen then we'll forget it and then it will go by the wayside amen how many no saints, amen. We got to read the scriptures and continue to read the scriptures. We got to continue, amen, to meditate on God's word. We got to continue to hear it so that we won't forget lest we go astray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
except it's reminding them. He says these reminders are necessary. What we, we've got to do, church, amen, we've got to remind them that, amen, they're the story of Israel here, the Israelites, they were in slavery for over 400 years, but God sent a, a messenger, a man, amen, Moses here, amen, to, to deliver the people, amen, and I want you to know that God can use anybody, saints, man. and he chose Moses, a man that was flawed, amen, he chose him to, to serve as the deliverer, and we see that they came to plays of many kind and, and when they got down to the rich they thought that they were trapped and he said I need you to remind the people amen that God amen the God amen of Abraham Isaac and Jacob he parted the Red Sea not only did he do that but he provided food he gave he a manna from heaven and he amen he provided fire by night and water in the middle of a desert from a rock and he amen he watched them as they sinned but even as they repented God still blessed them he said Remind them of what I've done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says we got to not only do this, call your attention to that and, and listen to what I'm saying here, but now he says here, I need you to pass on the, the torch. Yes. Amen. Verse 4 here says, he says here, now that he says, we will not hide them from their children, telling to them the generations to come the praises of the Lord. And and, and he says, and in his strength and his wonderful work that he has done. When you look at that text, the verb here, hide here, it, it, it has a specific meaning. It means to, to not, it means to keep something back, to, to refuse to make something known. He said, amen, everything that God has done, I need you to tell the people. Yes, sir. Not only do you tell them that, he said, you got to teach them that. Don't neglect to, to share with the children, amen, what you have learned, amen. A lot of us, our children will be stronger. They would be, amen, in a better place, amen, if we would talk candidly to them, if we would talk transparently with them, amen. We have them believing, amen, a facade that every day in our life was rosy, amen, that we've never had any struggles, we've never had any troubles, amen. We can walk around in the church, amen, like we've been saved all of our lives. But can I tell you, I ain't been saved all my life. Can I tell you that either? Amen. Because, because we serve a forgiving God, amen, we should tell the people that God has washed me and cleansed me, and now he's making me whole. This bird here, when he look at that, he said we got to pass on our faith to our children. That, that's the obligation of the church here. Amen. But too often we get it. Amen. And we keep it to ourselves. But we got to learn how to pass it on. We got to learn how, amen, to give it over to other people. What we got to do, amen, these stories, these, these warnings, God's promises, his word, amen, amen. We need to make sure that our children are like sponges, amen. We need to give them all of this so that when they get older, they can be like the sponge. And when they squeeze it, amen, something good will come out of them. Yes, sir. Man, it's no secret that amen, I was a bit of a track runner and, and star, amen, if you will. Amen. amen, amen. This ain't boasting, brethren. This, this, this is just, in fact, amen, I was I was quick, amen. I, I could get out there, amen. Sometimes those folks in front of me, amen, it looked like they were going to win, but God, amen, gave me something, amen, at the end. But but I learned something. I was on the relay. And, and third leg, amen, you don't just put anybody on third leg, amen, but I learned something because when that runner on the, the first leg of the relay, amen, he had the baton in his hand. If we were going to win, we had to successfully get it to the second leg and then we had to get it to the third leg and then the third leg man had to get it to the fourth leg so that we could successfully end the race. Can I tell you, amen, we've got some things in our lives now in our churches, amen, amen, we're dropping the baton. Amen. You drop the baton when you halfway come to church. We drop the baton when we, amen, try to do what the world says, amen, and not follow the scriptures. We, we drop the baton when we try to please man instead of pleasing God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I tell you, amen, we got to learn how to pass it along here. And so he says here, what we got to understand that we've got to, amen, there's three things that we got to pass on to uh, this next generation. We got to tell them about the praise of the Lord. 
We got to teach them that God, amen, not only was he worthy of all our praise, but we got to teach them that he's still worthy of all of our praise. We got to tell them about God's strength, amen. Do you know that God is a mighty God? He's a powerful God. But if you know that, you got to tell the, the children, those coming on behind you, the, the new converts about this great and powerful God. Not only that, the praises of God and his strength, but you got to tell them about his wondrous works. Amen. Amen. The God that we serve is great and he's mighty. Amen. The God, amen, that, that part of the Red Sea is the same God that can take care of you and I today. So what we got to do, we got to teach them, amen, about the works of God. Amen. We need to share with our children the wonderful things that God has done. But not only that, we got to teach them the word of God. Amen. Amen. We, we taught them how to pray. Amen. Now we lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Amen. Now we got to take it a bit further. You got to call on God. Eternal God our Father. You got to tell them how to adore God. Amen. How to confess your sins. How to tell them thank you. And then how to ask God. Because the word says you can ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open. We gotta teach that to this next generation. The psalmist here, he wrote here, amen. He said we gotta be honest, amen. About sometimes that, amen, even God's people fail sometimes. We got to be honest that sometimes, amen, even in our sanctimonious selves, amen, we are flawed and sometimes we sin and sin against God. That's what David did when he was in Psalm 51. David said, it is God, it is, he said, have mercy on me, oh God. He said, it's against thee and thee only have I sinned. And say, he knew the Lord. So say, can I tell you that sometimes even in your sanctimonious, amen, even in your sanctimonious, State. Sometimes you miss the mark. But the Bible, the Bible says, amen, amen. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just enough to forgive us of our sins. And not only that, but he will cleanse us of all unrighteousness. You know about you, but I thank God that he's a God of another chance. Because if he was a God of a second chance, I would be ruled out, amen. But I thank God that he'll give you a chance over and over again. Can I tell you here, we got to be careful that we don't paint a false picture. We got to be careful, amen, and let them know that sometimes in this walk you're going to have some ups and downs. Amen, sometimes you, amen, it's not going to be pretty. But if you let them know that, amen, but through it all, amen, to keep on trusting in the Lord. The songwriter said, I thank God for my mountains. He said, I thank God for the valleys. I thank God for everything that he has brought me through. And so he said, if I never had a problem, then I wouldn't know that God could solve me. I wouldn't know what faith in God could do. But say, we got to teach them that, amen, you got to keep on trusting in God, no matter what may come your way. But the Bible lets us know that he said that the generation, he said, we got to teach them this so that the generation to come might know him. He said, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children. He tells them this, he said, that they may set their hope and their trust in God. He said, and not forget the works of God. Can I tell you, saints, that the Bible lets us know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If we want this next generation and us saints to and our faith to increase, then we've got to learn how to hear the word and study the word of God. And then too often says we do this, that, and the other. But can I tell you that there's nothing greater than learning and reading God's word. Can I tell you that I found out that in God's word that I can do what God says that I can do. His word says that I'm above and I'm not beneath. His word says that he shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. Can I tell you, saints, that we got to teach our children that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. They're created in the image and the likeness of him. So, saints, when they come up and they feel inferior and when they feel like they have low self-esteem, they find out that through the word of God that they've been created a little more than the angels and that they are indeed special. Saints, can I tell you that even on this high 
150 church anniversary. Try to true mind and college hill and everyone under the sound of my weak voice. We got a responsibility. Somebody's waiting on you to tell them about Jesus. Somebody's waiting on you to teach them the word of God. Somebody's waiting on you to walk it out. Not just talk it out. But somebody's waiting on you to be the example. Say, I don't know about you. But say, we got to learn how to get in position to pass on the next level and the next word that God has for us. Can I get a witness? Can I tell you here as I'm getting ready to close that say to your children, they may be healthy and intelligent. They may have education and they may end up making all types of money. But can I tell you if they don't know Jesus, the words of what is the prophet of man to gain this world and then lose the soul? Can I tell you the saints that can have all the riches of this whole world? But if you don't know Jesus, they won't amount to anything. But can I tell you the saints as I get ready to close? The Bible says here now, uh, he says we got to learn how to pass it on uh, to this next generation. Uh, he said you got to, amen, get off of your high horse. Uh, he said you got to get off of your position. Uh, and then you got to actually do the work. Uh, say, church, it will be about the farmer's business. Uh, it will be about doing the work. Uh, we're going to see a change in our churches. Uh, we'll see a change in our communities. Uh, we'll see a change in our schools. Uh, we'll see a change in our land. Uh, but say, we got to do the work uh, that he's called us to do. Uh, he said we gotta pass it on. Uh, he said if we pass it on. Uh, he said that the next generation, uh, they won't be like their fathers. Uh, and he talked about a real bad. Uh, he said they were stubborn and rebellious. Uh, they were a rebellious generation. Uh, he said they did not set their hearts. Uh, they didn't set their hearts on right. Uh, they did not trust and believe in God. Uh, Saints, if we don't do it, uh, then they're gonna go astray. Uh, if we don't teach our children, uh, say then they're gonna go to the world. Uh, the world is waiting. Uh, they know our children. Uh, but say we gotta take it back uh, and take it back by force. Uh, do I have one witness here? Are you ready uh, to learn how to pass it on? Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but sometimes uh, I get a little tired in my pocket. Uh, but I know that I've got to keep on. Uh, in own in his name because somebody uh, they need to hear the word uh, the saints in all uh, and all that you teach uh, and all that you pass on uh, make sure uh, that they know Jesus uh, but before you help somebody else uh, I gotta ask you a question uh, do you know Jesus uh, do you know the man uh, who died on Calvary uh, do you know Mary David do you know the one uh, who can do anything uh, but fail. So thank you now that I know uh, that you know Jesus. Uh, I need you to learn uh, how to teach somebody else. Uh, you can teach them uh, all about biology. Uh, because biology is uh, it's the study of life. Uh, but I need you to tell them about what he is. Uh, the giver of all life. Uh, you can tell the next generation uh, about horticulture. Uh, it's the study of more and dance. Uh, but let them know that Jesus is the rose of Sharon. He is the lily of the valley. Tell him about genealogy. Geology, rather. It is the study of the earth. And let him know Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and he created the earth. Tell him all about zoology, which is the study of animals. And animal kingdoms, but let them know that He is the Lion of Judah, and He is the Lamb of God. Tell them all about meteorology, which is the study of the weather, but tell them about the one who can make the winds and the rainbow bear. Do you know Him? Do you know Jesus? Tell them about hematology, which is the study of blood. But tell them there is one whose blood washed away all, all of my sins. They hung him, they hung him high, how they stretched him wide. They put nails 
nails in his hand, nails his feet, put a pile of bones upon his head, and he died. And he died. I said he died, but he didn't stay dead. They buried him in a pile of grave. But then I tell you, saints, right early, 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 Sunday morning, he got up off his grave with all power. Tell him, you would live, and he lived in me. He's alive. Pass it on. Pass it on. Tell him that he can save in a manner of sinner. He can heal all manner of diseases. He can strengthen you. He can choose you. He can deliver you. He can help you. He can save you. He can heal you. He can bless you. He loves you. He can. Yeah. He can do everything. Everything that I am in need Thanks for me, I call it And he heard my prayer And hit it in my way Why don't you know something is good And keep it in your sin When you know the secret, when you know the answer, you don't share it with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four years, four years. It's the world that's lost you all. Sometimes I want to quit and give up, you know, because we do get tired. You know, and you you got, got, got a, a whole body of, of believers in the church. We love God. Yes, the hand just fell out. Now do some work. Go sit down. Yeah, yeah. And you wonder why they're working in your house. You wonder why they cussing, amen, in front of you. You wonder why they have no respect. Yeah. Wonder why they shiftless and, and sometimes they don't want to work. Amen. Because we have failed to teach them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But God, but God, God can save. If He did it for us, I look at kids all the time. Amen. I don't even know some of them name. I just say I just start calling them preacher. Hey, preacher. Deacon, hey, missionary, I, you, you have to speak those things that are not. Because right. clearly they are not in some of them. They're not. not. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I got to. Yes, but but, but we, we got to be guilty of pouring something in them. Yeah, yeah. Had, had they not poured into us, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. where would yeah. we be? Oh, yeah. Had they not drug us to, to church, to yes, choir rehearsal, yes, made us get up there and sing. Where would we be? Had, they, had, we, had we just been allowed to do whatever? And we see the consequences of that. Amen. When we go, when you go to the prisons, amen. These, some of those kids, amen, were not made to come to church. Uh -huh. yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have an awesome responsibility. Now, where, where, where it gets better is that you don't have to do it by yourself. We are in this thing together. We're in this together. We may have two different church homes. It may be true about it. We're over here at College Hill. But we're all on the same team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If a soul is saved, heaven rejoices. We rejoice over that. I don't care if they come to, the, to God over here at True Bible, if they come to, uh, on the corner at a Pick Revival or a College Hill, it doesn't matter. Amen. Heaven rejoices. We got an awesome responsibility. We do. And we can do it together. We should have our, our next anniversary. We'll be amen to celebrate the souls that have been saved. Next anniversary, we're going to celebrate, amen, the, the lives that have been changed. Those that used to be in the church, they're coming back, amen. And a lot of folks say they're going to come back as soon as the pandemic lifted up. Amen. I guess they ain't gotten the, the news that the pandemic has lifted. Amen. They still ain't made it back yet. Amen. But amen. Even if they don't ever come back. Amen. I'm still going on in his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's one, I want to pray tonight. First of all, if there's, if there's one that don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I want you to come tonight. 
I don't ever take that for granted that we all saved. Amen, amen, amen. The way folks are dying now, you better be sure of your salvation. home tonight and before you could wake up in the morning news could strike oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. but I want to pray also for the church our, our morning prayer this morning I know we had all of College Hill was on the prayer line this morning amen amen look at six amen 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 but our prayer was sealed around mm. amen we're gonna have prayer again in the morning. Because some of y'all didn't read it. <laughs> Six a.m. prayer, Reverend. They won't they yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> I didn't have I didn't have lunch, so y'all know this. Y'all know. Sister Curry cooked a big meal though. Amen. I'm going home to eat. But before we eat, I'm gonna pray. I've been praying for the church, the body of Christ. We're, we're, we're divided on some things. We got to learn how to come together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we got to learn how to love each other first of all. We can't receive folks in because we don't know how to love the ones that's already in the house. All right. All right. Yes, sir. We got to have a servant's mentality. Paul said, he said, and let this mind be in us that was also in Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah. A servant's mentality. To serve. Don't nobody want to serve. Everybody want to be the leader. Y'all can have y'all can have the leadership, yeah. Let me just serve. You get beat up as a leader. Have you ever been talked about? Just be a leader. Have your name been run down? Just be a leader. Amen. You'll get a good you'll get a good name running down. Amen. <laughs> but they let them say whatever they want to say. But at least let them let them say that you was a servant. That you served. Yes, sir. By your heads, we I want to pray. As we as we close father we thank you tonight we thank you for your word God your word is rich it's powerful your word has everything that we need thank you God because your word it acts as a mirror it shows us ourselves and father we we come praying tonight that you would have your way in all of our lives but Father, we have, at times, Father, we have neglected our responsibility. This next generation needs us. And Father God, we need your help. So Father, I pray for every church that stands open in your name. Not just True Vine, not just College Hill. God, but every church that stands open in your name, that the, a fire would break out. Glory be to your name. But a fire would break out in our churches. A hunger for your word. A hunger to live for you. And a hunger to serve. Father God, I know that we get weak along the way. I pray for, for strength even right now. Strength in our inner man. Sometimes we do get tired. We get uh, perplexed along the way. There are some that have been hurt. And they wanted to throw in the towel. God, I thank you. Your word declares, God, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed. So, God, so we may be rough right now, but God, you've got great things in store. So, Father, bless us. I pray for every pastor. I pray for every ministry leader. I pray, God, that you would remove the distractions. Father God, I'm praying that we we not be uh we not be Call up in titles. Let us be servants. God, I pray that you would humble us even right now. Where there's a pride and a haughty spirit. God, that you would humble us right now. Because we can't do this without you. God, we need you right now. Pray that you would bless God. And as you bless, as you send souls, God, as as, as others come to Christ, as, as we see a turnaround in this city, in this, this land and country, God, that we will give you the praise. God, we glorify you even right now in advance for what you're going to do. Use us in thy service. If we have
have to, if we have to go without, help us to, to keep on going in your name. Even when we get tired, when we get perplexed, even when we make it angry, God, help us to keep on going. God, we need you. Some soul is crying out even right now. There's somebody on the corner. They, they want to give up that struggle. The struggle they have in God. Help us, God, to get out there. Come out of these four walls, but to come out into the, in the hills and highways in our communities to do a great work for you. Now, God, we thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for how you're going to use us. God, and we give your name all the praise. For us in the powerful and the perfect name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Somebody shout, thank God. Say amen. Say amen. Give God praise to you. What a blessing I have.